Uh, good morning, everyone. It is a, a tremendous uh, pleasure to be here in Delta once again, uh, making a, a very important announcement that is going to uh, to be of great benefit to the folks who live in Delta, but indeed for, for all, all folks who uh, live south of the Fraser and, and in particular who rely upon uh, the Alex Fraser uh, crossing uh, each and every day. Having another lane on the Alex Fraser Bridge that will allow us to have four lanes pardon me, four lanes northbound one way and four lanes southbound the other way will make a huge difference for commuters, for uh, people going to and from work, for people hauling goods to and from different places. And just overall, it will really address the congestion issues that we face here in the Lower Mainland. We're pleased uh, to partner with the Government of Canada on this project, uh, with uh, British Columbia providing just over $36 million towards the total project cost of $70 million for this project. Uh, by reconfiguring the Alex Fraser Bridge to seven lanes, we're able to improve traffic capacity significantly and improve the travel time for commuters and for goods movement. This is especially important during the morning and the afternoon peak periods when traffic is the heaviest. Now with seven lanes, we'll have uh, four lanes southbound and a three lane northbound configuration. Uh, to make the most of the additional lane, we'll be implementing some pretty impressive uh, state-of-the-art technology. We'll be adding uh, what's called a movable barrier system. By moving the barrier uh, before the morning rush, we can create four lanes northbound when those four lanes are needed the most. Then we'll return the bridge to four lanes southbound uh, configuration for the, re the remainder of the day. This means an extra lane of capacity uh, to serve commuters during the morning and an extra lane of capacity to serve commuters in the afternoon rush. Infrastructure is a very important component of government business. And while most of us think of it as roads and bridges and concrete, it's so much more, because infrastructure is what connects our communities. It's what brings people together. It's what allows uh, a, a mother to get to work and get to school. And it's a very important part of how we think about how we build our communities.